Hi lovely people, welcome back to my tutorial for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for your love. Thank you for everything. Without you guys, I won't be here today. So thank you so, so much for your support. I sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, appreciate you guys. And please, if this is your first time stopping by, kindly help out by hitting on that red icon to subscribe. It's absolutely free. And please, touch the notification bell to be the first to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now today's class we shall be looking at how to make a very beautiful flay of shoulder flay dress with cape okay actually this is for a six year old baby all right so here i have my scuba for the for the cape okay all right and i'll also be making using it to make a little bow tie at one side of the half length all right okay so here i have my fabric here i have up to six yards but after cutting it out i intend losing like two two to three yards of the fabric okay so here i have my hard net okay i'll be using this hard net to turn it up to make it stand looking at that our picture you will see that the dress is standing okay so i'll be using this thick net for it okay so let's get started first we'll be cutting the down part of the dress okay all right so here the measurement that i'll be working with is a full length of 40 inches okay all right so here i have my half length to be 10 and a half so when i minus the 10 and a half from the 40 i'll be having 29 and a half so i'll be making it up to 30 inches okay so i'll be using the half an inch to join the down part and the upper part okay all right okay so first thing holding the two edges of our wrapper this way okay holding the two edges like this i'll come at the one side then i'll fold like in a, in a triangular form this way okay just fold one edge this way then you fold it like this okay so now you determine how how full you want the dress to be so remember it's for a six year old baby so i won't be taking this i won't be dragging this to the end okay so it will not be too much for the baby so i'll just fold like so okay so i think this is okay all right okay so i'm stopping here all right so the next thing to do is to take our our measurements okay so the waist divided by four will give us the waist you're working with is 26 inches so when divided by four it will give us 6.5 okay so i'll be adding extra half an inch for our joining to make it seven inches so like this i will find my seven inches okay all right so here okay so i have my seven inches this way okay because it's a front so i'll just paint it this way okay Okay, so from those seven inches now, I will now determine the length. So what we have is 29 and a half plus half, making it 30 inches. So from here now, I will look for 30 inches. Okay, all right. So here we have 30. So from here, I will continue marking those 30 inches to reach the end. Okay. So 
So after that, I will just use um, I'll just use the straight line to connect those notches. Okay, so I'll just go ahead now and cut this out, and I'll use it to cut out the back piece. Okay, after cutting it out, I will spread the fabric again, then place my front parts at the dress. Okay, then I'll cut out. Then I'll place it, making sure I leave some allowance for our zip, okay? All right. Okay, I'm just trying to adjust it. Okay. So here I have... Okay. I want to make it up to one and a half. Okay, so I have up to one and a half here for my zipper, so it's perfect. All right, so I'll just go ahead now and cut this out. Okay. Okay, so when placing this, Make sure that the folded parts of the of the front will be the one that will be facing the zipper part, okay? Because you know this is the center part, which is the zipper area. So the folded part of the front part will be the one you will use to be cutting the zipper side of the back, okay? So why the both side now be this side, okay? This is the opening part, all right? Okay. Okay, so after cutting it out, I have those. Okay, so now I'll just remove the front part. And I'll use this back piece to cut out the other part of the back. Okay, alright. So now when you are placing this, you have to be watchful. Okay, so that you will not end up cutting the same side. Okay, so this is the front face of the dress. Okay, that's the front face, and this is the front face of this one that is already cut out. Okay, so what I would do now is to make my front face to, to let the front face face the front face. Okay, all right. I'll just make it to be equal. Then I will go ahead and cut it out. Okay, here I have my two back and I have my front facing. So I'll just go ahead and use this now to cut out our front. Uh, sorry, I'll cut, cut out our thick net and also a lining for it. Okay. Okay, for the half length, I'll be cutting the front face, the front part first before cutting the back piece. Okay, so here I my my measurement will be starting from this line here. Okay, so here I have the half length to be ten and a half. So because this is an off shoulder, I'll be minusing two inches because this is a, a baby's dress. Okay, so I'll be just taking off two inches. Okay, so here from those my two inches here, I'll just place my two inches to this line. Okay, to get my half length, and the half length you're working with is ten and a half. So I'll be adding one inch extra, making it eleven inches. Okay. All right, so I'll just make a straight line here to connect my 11 inches. All right, so the shoulder we are working with is 10 
inches okay divide by two to give us five so because this is an off shoulder i'll be taking away um two inches okay let's say half one and a half inch from it okay so five minus one and a half will give us um three and a half okay so i'll be marking three and a half inches here okay so here okay so for us to get our bust line okay so um our arm hole measurement is 13 inches so divide by two to give us six and a half okay so here from those two inches again i will mark our six and a half here okay so i'll just make a straight line here okay so here i'll place our bust measurement so the bust I'm working with is um, 27 inches divided by 4 to give us 6.75. Okay, so here I'll mark my 6.75 and I'll be adding extra one and a half for our allowance. Okay, all right, so here I have it. So from dust now, I will just take our arm hole. I will just mark this. Okay, all right. And just make it straight so you can just make it a little bit curvy. Okay okay just connect it all right so here for the waist measurements i'm working with uh, 26 inches divided by 4 to give us 6.5 6.5 now add extra one inch for our dart and one and a half for our seam allowance okay all right, so I'll just connect it. So now we'll just go ahead and the cut is off. So remember, thus our dress um, will be having a cape, so no need of making um, any line, of, may no need of curving it or giving it any shape at the neckline. So I'll be just leaving it thus straight. Okay, so I'll just go ahead now and uh, cut it. So this is for the front part so for the back piece i'll be adding my i'll be cutting out the back piece and i can probably use this to cut out my back piece but remember you have to leave some allowance for our zipper okay all right so i'll be needing like one and a half because in our down part we have one and a half inches for our zipper so at the upper part too we'll be taking one and a half okay Okay, so I've gone ahead to cut out the front piece and this is the two back piece. So I'll just go ahead now and cut out the lining for it. Okay, and I'll go to the machine to line it up. And I'll do the same thing for the down part. But for the down part, I'll be cutting the thickness for it. Then we will be joining the, the, the down part together on our machine. Okay, so as you can see, I've uh, neatly lined up the front parts, okay, and I've joined the both sides together. Okay, so when you look carefully, you will see that I did not turn off the neckline, okay, because we are going to be attaching our cape to it. Alright, so for the round shoulder, I have 32 inches. So here, I'm folding my... Um, my scuba into two, okay, alright, so I'll be using the length of... Uh, seven inches both for my joining so remember that at this cape after doing it it will be folded into two so that's why i use the up to this when folded into two okay so when i open it up i'll be having like 14 inches all right so what i would do next is to find the round uh, shoulder which is 32 inches so here okay so next thing is to okay fold this fabric into two okay all right so the 32 divided by two will give us 16 so i'll be following this to 16 inches okay okay 
I'll be folding that 16, then I'll add extra because I'll be making up it to be in form of a, a cape. Okay. Okay, here, so I folded it into two. Okay. So here I will take my measurements. No, since we have folded those into two now, which is we are getting 16 because 32 divided by two will give us 16. So I'll be adding extra half an inch, okay? So that I'll be having 33 inches. So I'll have here 16 and a half. Okay. Half 16 and half. All right. So I'll mark my 16 and a half. Okay, so coming to this other side, I'll be taking 19 inches. Okay, all right. So I'll just connect it like this, from those 19 now to those 16 and a half. Okay, so I'll just go ahead now and cut this out. Okay, coming to this side where we'll be attaching to the neckline, I will come up by by half an inch, okay? So with this half inch now, I will just connect it this way. I will just connect it and then chop it out. Okay. Okay, so I'll also go ahead to open up this part or you can decide to just leave it this way and just go to the machine and close up those two edges. Okay, when you close up those two edges, then you now turn it to the right face and attach those to the neckline or you can also open up here, then stitch it and then stop stitch it okay to help it flatten the more or you can just leave that and use your iron to do so okay all right so we'll go into the machine together now to do the joining okay so now i've uh, closed up the side so what i will do now is to turn it okay to the right face I'll do the same thing to the other side then after that I will fold it into two to get the mid point okay I'll fold into two Okay, so here I'll just hold the midpoint and I'll notch it. Okay, all right. So I'll do the same thing to the upper part of the front. Okay, so I'll fold into two and I will notch the midpoint. Okay, so now what I will do next is to take this, then I will sew. I will open it up, okay? Remember, it's folded into two. So, this notch point now, I will place it at this point, okay? Alright, so I will now stitch it up straight, okay? Alright, so after that, I will, okay, coming to this uh, zipper part, 
I notched out where our zip will be ending because you know this other part will be going inside this way. Okay, so here at those edges, okay, I I opened up this uh, part that we closed. I opened it up a little bit, okay, so that when I place it at this point here, when I placed it here, okay. And so I can be able to own it this way, okay, and sew it up and stitch it up at the back part. Okay, so now we can just start in the in our stitching. Okay, we go ahead and stitch and one more thing, make sure that when you are stitching you are not dragging the material. Remember that the fabric is a um, a stretchy material, okay. All right. Okay. All right. So here. Okay, I'll place this at this uh, place that I notched. Okay, this way. Then I'll go ahead and uh, stitch it up. Okay, so after sewing all those uh, parts, all right, after sewing them, then I'll go ahead to turn it at the other side. Okay, all right, so I'll fold it, I'll fold it this way, then I'll stitch it up straight okay not doing it part by part this time around i will sew it straight to the yeah. end okay now i'm through with this upper part okay i've literally i am um, attached that up to the upper part of our dress okay all right so the next thing i'll do now is to go back to the down part so this is one part of the of the back parts okay and this is my front facing all right so here i will take my neck then i'll place it at the front part of the dress okay i'll place my neck this way sorry i will first of all place uh, my lining Okay, I'll place my lining, then I'll place my net on the top. Okay, first I'll place my fabric, then place my lining. Remember the front face of the lining, okay, the right face. Then place my lining, then now place my hard net, okay. Then after that, I'll stitch it up, starting from the down part, okay. All right, so I'll make sure that it is equal before sewing. So I will start stitching up from the down part, okay? After stitching the down part, before we stitch the sides. All right. Okay, so I'll just start now. So when you are sewing you make sure that 
Eu acho ainda de três. Ok, so this is how we continue to like finish this down part. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone ahead to turn out this down part. Okay, as you can see, the net is inside. All right, and this is the line. So I've torn, I've torn it inside out. So the next thing to do is to join the down part to the upper part of our dress okay so this is our cape okay all right so i'll just join it so since i've closed up the both side i'll just open it up a little bit so that it will be um to be different okay so i will join this to the upper part okay to the center part and then i will join the sides to the side then i'll now close it up. all right then for the for the bow tie, I will be cutting a perfect square using this our black scuba. Okay, all right. This way, I will just cut out a perfect square and I will use that side. Okay, so I will just sew it up this way. I will just sew it up in a square form. Okay, then I will hold it like this. Okay, as you can see, it has formed. Um, the bolt die then I'll be putting it at the side of the front and that will be all and I'll show you the finishing part okay so this is the result of our dress as you can see it comes out very beautiful okay this is the cape and this is the bow tie all right and this is the down part of our dress all right so thank you so much for watching till the end to we'll meet in my next class and please if you have not subscribed yet if this is your first time please hit on that red icon to subscribe thank you love you bye